Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am back in the kitchen for some more decluttering. This is an update on how I've done for week five of my 40 day declutter challenge. So let's jump right in and I'll share with you what I managed to declutter this week. And this was one of those weeks where the schedule just got changed around a lot, a lot of things unexpected. So um, I didn't make it to decluttering one item per day, but I did make it to getting down to the basement and finding a box and going through it. Um, and so I have for you what I was able to declutter this week. And, you know, as I said before, I'm just jumping in and it's the rules are just there for guidelines and I'm just happy that I'm continuing to declutter. So that's the most important part. So I found this box in the basement and to start off with, um, this is one of those uh, hanging, it's like for your closet, you know, a hanging uh, organizer that you can put sweaters or jeans or things like that in it. I don't need it. I'm going to check with my husband and see if he needs it. We don't have a ton of closets, so I don't think he does, but I'll check with him. If he does not need it, then I'm gonna put it in the clothes swap bin and take that to the next clothes swap party, which I will hopefully be hosting here. So I know I've been talking about that, but I still have yet to just nail down a date. So that's coming. Um, in this box are a whole bunch of framed photographs and I've gone through them. And some of them are sort of old and like college age and I don't feel like I need to keep them as a framed photo but I'll just put the photo in a photo album because I would like to keep the photo and that will free up some of these frames for more current pictures there are a few that I would like to hang out or you know hang up or put out to be able to enjoy so that'll be good to get those out I'm pretty sure this box got packed up when we moved here uh, six and a half years ago <laughs> so I'd say it's time to get these out and um, what else? This is a little stack. So in my design school days, I worked in the uh, interior design library and I have lots of little collections like this. It was just like promotional uh, cards from a flooring manufacturer and they're nothing, you know, fancy. I guess I thought I could frame them, but they're <laughs> it's silly. I'm just recycling them. There's no need to keep those. I can't believe I moved those from the other house. That was silly to begin with, but whatever, it's done. You know, the basement I'm finding, what's down there is a lot of delayed decisions and things that I put down there because I didn't know what to do with or I didn't know where to go with them or I wasn't sure if I could get rid of them. So, you know, now I'm finally getting down to it. A lot of it feels irrelevant and that makes it real easy to declutter. So I'm going with it. So I also found this little collection of four uh, framed line prints and uh that's from back when i was you know dancing quite a bit i don't need them anymore but i'm gonna bring them to the clothes swap and see if you know if anyone has a daughter that's into dance and wants them that might be a fun little addition to the room or if not they're going to goodwill so that's fine too same thing with these these are just like i don't know it was like a flooring manufacturer's promotional thing of some designs and Oh, I take that back. I think these are actually from Ikea. They are. <laughs> Never mind. These are just from Ikea and they're just little prints and I don't need them. So if no one at the clothes swap wants them, then I'll just put them into the Goodwill stack. I found one more of those magnetic chalkboard pieces. So I'm going to put that in there too. Maybe somebody wants to frame it and if not, Goodwill might want it. I found, uh, this is a frame or, um, it's like a little angel statue. I like it still. I just forgot it was down there. I believe we got it as a wedding gift perhaps, but um, what I'm going to do is put it with the Christmas decorations because it is an angel and I thought, well, that would be a nice time to get it out and enjoy it. So that'll just go down into the basement uh, Christmas bin, one of those. Then I found a nice little stash of hanging file folders. And I guess the twofold good news about this is, one, I cleaned these out of our filing cabinet in our office, in our home office, so that was good. We decided we did not need these anymore. And then two, we have been needing some more at the office where I work. So I'm going to bring these into the office and that way that's um, gonna put them to good use and we don't have to figure out where to go with them. And uh, that's actually going to go in my red bin because I'm going to be packing that up here momentarily with my lunch and bottles of water and all that that I need for work tomorrow. So that is everything I've decluttered. Again, it was just kind of in one fell swoop 
this week, but I'm glad to get it done. And every time I go down there and pull something out and think, why am I keeping this? It just makes it that much easier to go down again and find something else the next day. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're doing well in your decluttering. If you're not doing the 40 day declutter challenge, then just maybe getting some decluttering done here and there when you can. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your decluttering is coming along. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.